Icon is a word that is overused in the car business, but when it comes to the Ford Transit, it is justified. So when there's a brand new model in town, it is very big news indeed. Launched in 65, the Transit changed the way vans could and should be. And over the decades, the Transit has flourished into a family of models which have dominated the van market. Owned and driven by anyone, it really has become what the marketeers named it as. So with all of this heritage, has Ford buckled under the pressure with the new one? Well, not wanting to spoil the surprise so early on in this video, but no, it hasn't. However, before I tell you everything you need to know about the new Transit Custom, some background info is needed. It's built in partnership with Volkswagen, with Ford being responsible for the new VW Amarok and Ford Ranger Twins, and the Transit Custom and the next generation Volkswagen Transporter. This will give VW a leg up in the commercial vehicle world, and on the flip side, Ford gets some badly needed access to VW's electric car know-how for its next range of EVs. The new Ford Explorer, for instance, is a Volkswagen ID.4 underneath. But that aside, all you really need to know is that the new Transit Custom is a proper Ford product through and through. And it's very clear to see this both on the outside and on the inside. Ford has always prided itself on offering a fantastic interior in its transits and this new model, well, it takes things onto the next level. And I mean that in terms of build quality because yes, there are a few scratchy plastics in here, it is a van after all, but generally speaking, the fit and finish in here is absolutely fantastic. Lots of lovely materials used in here. And there's also a huge amount of tech. Now, every single transit gets this touchscreen. It's 13 inches in size, and it's just got so much functionality with it. There's also a digital display in front of you. There's a square steering wheel and you can option this van with a special tilting steering wheel. So if you want to work, obviously parks up, if you want to uh, sit by the side of the road and tap away on your laptop and you want a flat surface, you can do that with this steering wheel. Honestly, this is such an impressive interior. It's impressive elsewhere too. Ford hasn't messed around with the looks too much. The design has been nicely modernised and the roof is now lower, making access to multi-storey car parks less of a butt-clenching experience. What may be a surprise is that the new Transit Custom is slightly smaller in the business end. It's shrunk from 6 cubic metres to 5.8, but access has been improved. The sliding side door, which can be electric if you want, opens to reveal a gap that's more than a metre wide, and the back doors lose their retaining arms so there's less obstruction when loading. But, as always, the whole area can be customised by your local Ford dealer. And along with this regular panel version, there will be high roof versions, double cabs, a combi, a posh Torneo bus, and a clever new model called the Multicab, which has an L-shaped bulkhead, giving a good compromise between space in the back and room for passengers. Meanwhile, under the bonnet, there's an engine to suit everyone. Diesels ranging from 108 brake horsepower to 168 brake horsepower. There's a petrol plug-in hybrid with a 35 mile EV range and an impressive 2.3 tonne towing capacity. And yes, you guessed it, there's an all electric version which has a 209 mile range. You can have a manual gearbox or an auto, and you can even choose a transit custom with four wheel drive and a limited slip diff. Thank you. 
It's fair to say though that for the time being at least, the diesels will remain the most popular versions of the Transit Custom. There are three different power outputs. I'm currently driving the 150 PS or 148 brake horsepower 2 litre four cylinder diesel. And I mean, the engine is just one part of how impressive this van is because yes, of course you can hear it. Yes, of course you do get that typical four cylinder diesel growl, but generally speaking, this is a very smooth engine and it seems to be perfectly mated to the six speed manual gearbox. In fact, the change quality feels like this is the type of change quality you get in a Ford Fiesta or a Ford Puma. It's really precise. It just feels very easy to slot the lever into the right gear. And like I say, it's just well matched to this engine. Now, not only is the engine very smooth, it's also not very loud in here. I mean, Ford have done a lot of work in sound insulation, making this a very quiet and relaxing vehicle to drive. And yes, of course, when you do rev this engine, you can definitely hear it, but for the most part, it's just whirring away in the background. And really, that just sums up the rest of the driving experience because I've driven this down the motorway and there was very little wind noise. Despite the fact you're driving a van which has all the aerodynamic properties of a brick, there was hardly any wind whistle around the mirrors, not much wind noise, not much tyre roar. It just felt incredibly, well, almost eerily refined for what is, let's face it, a workmanlike tool. You don't expect a van to be this comfortable, and it really is comfortable, much like Ford did with the Focus back in 1998, um, and really set new standards for class handling and comfort and refinement. Ford have fitted the Transit Custom with independent rear suspension. You can just feel it as you go down the road. Hit a pothole, and the back end of the van, it doesn't wobble around like you might expect it to. And when you, uh, throw this van into a corner, it just feels very, very composed and it really does stick to the road, impressively so. Now the steering is pretty light, it does weight up, I and mean, it's not the most accurate of things, but you wouldn't expect it to really, but overall, uh, there is no question of it. This has set a new benchmark for handling ride and refinement in the van market. These seats are incredibly comfortable. Um, and this dashboard, it's, because it's very similar to the types of uh, layouts that you get in other Ford products, it's all very easy to hand. Um, I've already spoken about the build quality, but it just feels incredibly well screwed together. Now this screen, it's great that it's so large. Um, it means operating it, and Ford have really improved their infotainment systems over the years. This is the latest Ford Sync uh, 4 with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Alexa built in. Uh, we've got a wireless charging pad as well. I mean, these are the types of connectivity features that you come to expect in top of the range SUVs. You don't expect it in a van, do you? But no, we've got it and it works beautifully. The driving position is great too. Compared to the previous Transit Custom, you seem to sit a little bit further back, but that hasn't compensated visibility. You still get a fantastic view out. I can see the end of the bonnet, which means those tight parking maneuvers are an absolute breeze. Um, the only thing I would say is, Headroom. I mean, I'm five foot eleven. Of course, there's more than enough space for me in here. But I think if you were over six foot, perhaps six foot three, six foot four, your head might be a little bit too close to the to the roof. And it's not as if the roof is unnecessarily low because there's some storage or some shelves here. There's nothing up there whatsoever. It's not a deal breaker. It's just something I'm a little bit surprised by. Ford have been very clever with this area. I mean, up there on the passenger side, they've put a roof-mounted airbag and they've moved that from the dashboard up to there to give the, 
this part of the dashboard with more storage and it's just that it's just one part of how clever Ford have been with thinking about how to make this space as usable and as user friendly and as up to the job as possible you get a completely flat floor there's no kind of foot wells at all so it means that the middle passenger uh, isn't uh, doesn't feel short changed in terms of leg room and of course you can just walk through if you need to get out you pack perhaps you're parked up against a wall or whatever you can just walk through the cabin which is great and the ability to customize the interior but primarily the back quarters you know the the actual load space is just absolutely out of this world Probably the most interesting new feature is Delivery Assist, which automates delivery tasks. It's been designed for delivery drivers who have to make frequent drops. So when fitted, the van automatically applies the handbrake, turns off the engine, closes the windows, turns on the hazard warning lights and locks the vehicle. Another clever feature is the Ford Pro Upfit integration system. It allows utility features such as beacon lights to be controlled through the touchscreen rather than an external unit screwed to the dash. So it's incredibly comfortable, it's incredibly refined, it's bristling with the latest technology. It would seem then that Ford have made this latest Transit Custom pick up from where the previous model left off. It would seem as though Ford have once again produced an incredibly impressive and crucially desirable van.